Court. We have a great football game tonight on ESPN. Steel City welcoming the glitz and glamour of Miami. It's Pittsburgh. It's the Canes. Battle of a couple of quality one-loss teams. Miami still ranked. And the fighting Dave Wanstash is looking to make the case that they should be ranked in front of the entire nation. Jesse Palmer will be on the call of the game. He joins us via telephone from Pittsburgh. Jesse, Miami hasn't played since losing to Ohio State. Where do they need to improve to bounce back against Pitt? Without question, it has to be attention to detail. And even, even after having nine drops and four interceptions against Ohio State two weeks ago, offensive coordinator Mark Whipple told us that he's actually more confident in his offense now than they were going into that Ohio State game. Miami defensively had three dropped interceptions against Ohio State, but they understand they must do a great job tonight tackling and taking great angles against running back Deion Lewis, last year's Big East Offensive Player of the Year. When you think Miami, you think speed. Does Pitt have the speed on defense to slow down Ja'Cory Harris and company? Well, Pitt would love to get pressure on quarterback Ja'Cory Harris with only four down linemen. Unfortunately, Greg Romius, last year's co-defensive player of the year in the Big East Conference, will not play tonight after having surgery on his back. Tristan Roberts is making his first start at the weak linebacker spot. Very athletic. They've clocked him at a 4-5 in the 40-yard dash. They're hoping they can find new ways to get after Ja'Cory Harris and try to keep up with all that speed from the skill position set. Excellent. Thank you very much, Jesse. We'll talk to you again soon. You got it, man. Robert, what should the Pittsburgh defense do against the Miami pass game to be successful this evening? Well, you have to pressure Ja'Cory Harris. And last year, Ja'Cory Harris, 24 touchdowns, but he also had 17 interceptions. And if you go back to the Ohio State game, four interceptions in that one. And really, Ja'Cory Harris had trouble dealing with defensive schemes. Defensive coordinator Jim Haycock on this play has a spy technique with Cameron Hayward where Ja'Cory Harris thinks that he has an open lane in the middle because he sees defensive linemen, and then he sees defensive backs drop back, but Cameron Hayward also drops back into coverage, makes the interception, and returns it for a big game. You can't just take a pre-snap picture and think that that's how defenses are going to stay. When you look at this pit defense, without defensive end Greg Romeo, certainly they're going to have trouble getting conventional pressure on Ja'Cory Harris. But defensive coordinator Phil Bennett, you better believe it, he's going to have all types of blitz packs and try and make sure that Ja'Cory Harris gets some pressure. And a very interesting storyline tonight that you shared with me <laughs> regarding Dave Wanstatt and Randy Shannon. Dave Wanstatt recruited Randy Shannon, coached him, drafted him in the NFL, hired him after his playing career was done, and then endorsed him down at Miami to be the defensive coordinator. So these are two guys, both really good guys, who will be facing off tonight. 27 years they've known each other. If you recall, they were also conference rivals in the Big East for the 90s and the beginning of the 2000s. Miami owned the series. They won six straight, 10 of 11. Canes, by the way, 14-2 all-time on ESPN Thursday Night Games, including 3-1 against Pittsburgh.